Hello and welcome back to Allie in his Kitchen, where today we are going to be making strawberries and cream scones. These scones are absolutely delicious and they're perfect for Mother's Day, which is right around the corner. To start making our scones, we're going to start with our dry ingredients. So today I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder half a teaspoon of baking soda if it wants to come out there we go and you need sugar right so we have a third cup of granulated sugar and now i'm just going to whisk this all together until it's totally combined there we go and I have half a stick of butter or four ounces and I've chopped it up so it's in tiny little pieces and you're going to be wanting to work with super cold butter for this recipe. So I'm going to add about half of the butter on this plate into my dry ingredients. And then if you have a pastry cutter, this is the perfect time to use it. If not, you can use a fork. I personally like to use my hands for this recipe just because I find it's the easiest way to do it and I also don't have a pastry cutter, so I just use my hands. Also, if you like scones, this is not my first scone recipe, I actually have a delicious blueberry lemon scone recipe on my page, so check it out. So now that I have mixed my butter into my flour mixture and it resembles almost like sand or coarse meal, I can move on to my wet ingredients. So I have half a cup of just whole milk, and to that, I'm going to crack in one egg. There we go. As well as two tablespoons of heavy cream. Okay. And now I am just going to use a fork and I'm going to whisk this all together. Now that this is totally mixed together, what I'm going to do is make a well in the center of my dough. And into that, I'm going to pour in my liquids. And now using a fork, I'm just gonna slowly add the flour mixture into my egg mixture until everything is totally combined. So once you've mixed in your milk mixture and your batter is just moist, we're going to be adding in our sliced strawberries. So today I have a cup and a half of strawberries. Now that I've mixed my strawberries in, I'm going to turn my dough onto my floured countertop and just knead everything together until it comes together. So now that my dough has come together, I've just pressed it out into a circle and I'm actually going to pop it in my fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes because this helps me cut it a lot cleaner and easier. And also at this time, I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees. So I'm going to go pop it in. Now that I've taken my scones out of my fridge and I let them chill in there for about 20 minutes, I can now cut them and put them on my grease cookie sheet. And here we have our final scone. And chilling this dough really helps with cutting it and maintaining that perfect shape that you want. So that's why I recommend it. And now I'm gonna move on to my egg wash. So I'm gonna just brush this over my scones before I bake them to get them to have that nice golden brown color. So what I have is just one teaspoon of milk in a little bowl. And to that, I'm going to be adding in one egg and giving it a whisk together. Now what I'm going to do is take a brush and paint my egg mixture all over my scones. And then once I've done that, I can actually take some coarse sugar and just sprinkle it on top. 
like so. So now that my strawberry scones are ready for the oven, I'm going to pop them in at 400 degrees for about 18 minutes or until they're golden brown. And here we have our beautiful finished strawberry scones. Mmm, they smell delicious. Now that my scones are out of the oven and cooling, I can start making my glaze. So I have a 3 4 cup of powdered sugar and to that I'm going to be adding in 2 tablespoons of heavy cream as well as 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract because this really gives it the strawberry and cream feel of the scones. I find my glaze is a little bit thicker than what I like so I'm going to add about half a teaspoon more of heavy cream to it but depending on the consistency you like, if you like it thicker then there goes my ring. You can keep it as it is, or if you like it a bit more runny, you can add in one more teaspoon. And the last thing I'm adding to my glaze is just a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna do a dash, that's all you need. Give it one final stir. And here we have our beautiful finished glaze. This is the consistency I personally love. And I'm gonna just put it into my little decorator and then I'm ready to glaze my scones. Now that we have finished glazing our scones, the best part is last, getting to taste them. They smell absolutely delicious. I'm making a mess right now, but that's okay. Mmm. So good. I love how they're packed full of strawberries, and they really do give that strawberry and cream feel. They're so, so tasty, and they also look really pretty too, so I love that. So please let me know if you try this recipe and what you think in the comments down below. And if you like it, don't forget to share with a friend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.